everything you want to know about Rebel Moon right now. And some of these things have changed. Did you know we're getting an R-rated version? Welcome back to Echo Base Network. Rebel Moon update right here. Oh, and by the way, we're live every Saturday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Come and join the show. Now, Rebel Moon, we've got the release date, the trailer, the cast, the plot, part two, and more. Let's run through it. Let's see what they're saying. Uh, to the sadness of the people keeping this Snyder verse candle burning. Thank you, Zack Snyder, I, I think. The man himself has put the DC Universe firmly behind him. Yep. Netflix has embraced Zack Snyder with open arms, and we're busy getting hyped for this two-part sci-fi epic Rebel Moon. Now, we do know that they are planning on giving us an animated series, spin-off shows, all kinds of things happening. They want this to be the Star Wars killer. And honestly, I hope it is. I hope it is that good, for sure. Rebel Moon Part 1, A Child of Fire, will land on Netflix just in time for Christmas, December 22nd, 2023. So, coming to Netflix then, Rebel Moon Part 2, The Scar Giver, will land on April 19th, 2024. So, you're going to have to wait just four months and you'll get Part 2. Each of the two parts will have an R-rated cut at some point, but we don't know when that's going to happen yet. I like it when movies get different cuts, whether it's an extended movie or an R-rated cut. I think it's a pretty good idea. If you can't wait that long, Netflix will be showing part one in theaters for a one week limited run. Screenings will take place during the week of December 15th. Yes, 2023. Expect the same for part two, which if it follows the pattern will debut in theaters on April 12th, 2024. So are you gonna go to the theater to see it? Or are you gonna watch it at home on Netflix? Not this dude. This dude will be in the movie theater to watch this on the big screen. The Rebel Moon cast. Zack Snyder has an impeccable reputation for working with actors and can can usually attract a top stable of talent to his movies. Rebel Moon is no exception, and the film will feature Sophia Butula in the lead role, uh, Dejaiman Hanso, I know I messed that up, General Titus, Charlie Hunnam as a mercenary, Ray Fisher as the warrior Darian Bloodaxe, and Jenna Malone as a spider warrior. Ed Screen looks to be nailing it in the villainous role as Admiral Atticus Noble, with Fra Fee as a tyrannical villainous leader. The obvious highlight has to be Oscar-winning movie icon Anthony Hopkins, who will be playing Jimmy, an impossible sentient JC-1435 mechanized battle robot and one-time defender of the slain king. It is the role he was born to play. I love that. What's Rebel Moon about? Indications are that this is going to be Zack Snyder's sci-fi take on Akira Kurosawa's classic Seven Samurai. The action will be centered on the moon Yilt, which is under threat from a fantastic Imperium. Korra, our heroine, must gather the fiercest warriors and mercenaries from across the galaxy to fight back against their forces and defend her world. Other than that, exact details are thin on the ground. We can presume that this rough story arc will play out over a child of fire and the scar giver, though they are already rumblings of a third movie, so this new sci-fi universe isn't done yet. Now they are making this thing to definitely be the Star Wars killer. Tabletop came coming, animated short coming, graphic novel coming. They are doing so many things with this movie and there's already speculation and rumor about a third movie being underway. So I hope this franchise rocks it. Hail Zack Snyder for actually not rebooting a franchise like J.J. Abrams. He's actually doing something new and fresh. As fans, let's get behind it. Let's see if it's any good, and if it is, you got to support it. Give us some entertainment, please. Do you think the movie will be good? Can Zack Snyder pull this off? What do you think about all these news? Do you anticipate enjoying the R-rated cut? Are you going to go see it in the theater? Do you think it could be the Star Wars killer, as it has been branded to be, pretty much? Thank you for coming here at the channel. We are you, are Echo Base Network. See you guys on the next one.